friends, it is that time of the month already where I pick out my next month's TBR. And I honestly did such a terrible job as to get into my March TBR. I don't think I read a single one off of that TBR. So I'm hoping I have a better month this month. I've been kind of feeling a bit slumpy. So I think that also contributed to me not sticking to my TBR at all because when I'm feeling slumpy, I just want to read what I'm in the mood for. But I feel like last month I wasn't for sure what I was in the mood for and I'm kind of feeling the same this month. I have some things I kind of want to read, but nothing concrete. So hopefully I do a better job at sticking to my TBR this month because like I said, I did not do good at all last month. And I felt really excited about all the books on that TBR as well. So it's kind of weird, but I am hoping for a better month this month. So let's just get straight into it. I think. I will pick out eight books and I really kind of want to challenge myself to read what I pick this time because I don't want to keep picking books and not reading them. I want to read them and like I said I don't have any books in mind that I want to read. I feel like I'm going to try to make the videos I film this month fit into the books I pick from my TBR instead of the other way because in the past I had ideas of videos I wanted to film and then I would pick books from my TBR and they wouldn't fit in. So this month I am kind of just going with the flow and based on what I pick here that's going to determine kind of the video else I film I guess. I also did a jar refresh which I am super excited about. It may not look like I added too many but I definitely added quite a bit of prompts in here and I also decided to add back in the prompts that I already used from the first three months. Maybe I should have done that because now I might get the same prompts I've had in the other months but I think it will be okay and I am just excited to see what I picked this month because like I said there are some new prompts in here and I really hope I get some of them because some of them are extra fun I think but before I into that let me crack open a little drink here I have this cherry limeade poppy delicious all right let's pick out the first prompt let me shake this I already shaked it when I first added my new prompts but I want to shake it again so let's see what the first prompt is flowers on the cover. Oh, this is one of my new ones and it's also perfect for spring. I feel like April is the month of flowers blooming so I'm very excited about this one. Let's see what I have here. I'm not sure if any of these are flowers on here. I'll keep it out just in case. Is this a flower? I feel like this is a flower so that could fit. Oh, this also has flowers. This kind of looks springy. I'll put that as an option. This also has flowers, but I picked this last month, so I'm kind of hesitant to put it on my TBR beat, but it does feel very springy, so I'll add it to the stack. All right, here are my options. We've got Things We Never Got Over, All the Bright Places, Secretly Yours, The Prison Healer, and yeah, I don't really, I just don't feel like this one has any flowers on it. It's more like foliage, I feel, so I'm going to put this one back. I am also don't think I'm in the mood for a sad book, so I'm going to put this back. So our three options here are Things we never got over, and I just don't want to put this on my TV again since I didn't read it last month, or maybe I should. I don't know. This just looks so good, actually. This is kind of a long one, though. I don't think I want to start this one yet. This kind of feels more folly, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to put this back. I think I'm going to go with Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey because it says that Hallie is hired to revamp the gardens, and that feels very spring like to me, so I think I'm going to add this. I haven't read a Tessa Bailey book in a long time. I read her little novella same time next year that was on Kindle Limited, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it, so I'm hoping I will like this more. I did like her two novels. I think I rated them five stars when I first read them, but looking back, they're probably more like a four. They're not my favorite romance books, but they are very fun and enjoyable, so hopefully I like this one. Next prompt. A book by two or more authors. I feel like I just recently picked this one. Let me see what I have. I feel like the only one I have is Christina Lauren. That's like the only author I know who is two people. So I don't know if I want to go with this one or if I want to get a different Christina Lauren book. I think I'm going to get a different one because we're going on a vacation this month and I feel like the one I'm going to pick will fit better. I feel like this was super popular when I first got on Book Talk, but then I kind of started seeing some mixed reviews on it. So that kind of put me off, but I feel like this would be pretty perfect for a trip. So this one is going to be added to the TBR. I really enjoy Christina Lauren's writing so hopefully I like this one just as much. Next. <laughs> 
It says Caleb Fix. This is so fun. This is my brother and this is one of the new ones I added and I was actually hoping that I would pull this one because I thought it would be super fun to have him pick. So I'm going to text him. I'm filming my TBR video and I pulled a prompt that says Caleb Picks. So I'm going to send him a picture. So I sent him a picture, so I will let you guys know when he responds, but for now, I'm, let me actually make sure this delivers. Okay, I'll let you guys know when he responds, but for now, I'm going to move on to my next prompt. From a genre out of your comfort zone. Hmm. I feel like there's not a whole lot out of my comfort zone. Oh, I know kind of what I, what I want to pick. So if you know me, you know thrillers are kind of, I like them, but sometimes I get a bit freaked out by them. But my mom is actually letting me borrow this book because she thought it was really good. I was kind of worried this one would be too scary for me, but she's like, it's not scary. It's just a page turning book. And I feel like this would be super fun. So I will add this one to my TBR. Next, shortest book. This should be interesting. Let's see here. We've got Such a Fun Age, which is 305 pages, so that seems like it would be a contender. Mary Jane, which is 311. This is 357, so I'm going to put that back. You have Percy Jackson here. This is 375. This is 370. It looks pretty short. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is under 300, it looks like. 278, so I feel like I'm not going to get one that is as short as this, so I am going to add this one to the TBR. My camera's kind of acting funny, so if the angle changes, that's why. But like I was mentioning, I am going to add The Wishing Game to my TBR. I just feel like this is going to be so cozy and fun and magical, and I am just excited to try it. I've seen great things about it. I think it was one of Book of the Month's options for potentially being becoming the book of the year. It says, years ago, a reclusive mega best-selling author quit writing under mysterious circumstances. Suddenly he resurfaces with a brand new book and a one-of-a-kind competition, offering a price that will change the winner's life. So that just sounds fun. I am excited to read this and I love the cover of this one. It looks like maybe Caleb responded. Oh, it looks like he picks Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. That is very exciting because I have been really wanting to read this and I heard that this has really great anxiety representation and I feel like that will be very relatable to me as a girly with anxiety. And I also really loved Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez and her new release is also coming out in just a couple of days now. So yeah, I am very excited about reading this. I read Part of Your World when we were on a trip last year. So if I take this on our trip this year it will feel very fitting <laughs> I think so I am very excited that he picked this one for me all right next pick so far we have five books so we have three more a book that feels like spring this is also a newer one that I added so I am very glad I picked this one because it's perfect for April again <laughs> and so I feel like I have quite a bit that could fit this but I think I'm going to go with you with a view on Instagram I've seen a lot of people do spring recommendations and this is one that I've seen on almost every list that has been put out there and so that just makes me really want to read it and this author also has a new book coming out this summer and I just want to be all caught up for it. It says two former high school enemies must reunite for a road trip inspired by their grandparents broken engagement in this electric debut romance. So that sounds so much fun and this is also another beautiful cover. I am so excited to read this and see what I think. This is very much like a romance TBR now that I'm looking at it. Let's see what's next has a royal setting. I actually picked this one, I think, was it last month? I'm actually going to pick two books for this because I would like to get to both of these. I actually am planning on starting this one later today after I finish my current read, and that is Majesty, which is the second book in the American Royal series, which I really loved the first one, and it kind of ended on a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to see what happens next, but I do feel like I could finish this before March is over because it's kind of a shorter read, and I feel like these books are super addicting so that's why it was on the shelf but I also have American Royals 3 Rivals so I think I'm just going to add both of these because I think that would be fun if I don't end up finishing Majesty in March I would definitely want it to be part of my April TBR and I also want Rivals to be a part because I kind of just want to finish the series because I'm enjoying it and I really want to see what ends up happening so those are two more I'm still going to pick one more prompt so this is the last one 
start a new series. I actually can't remember if I had this as a pr I think I did have this as a prompt and then I may have added another <laughs> prompt like this. I tried not to do duplicates but I feel like sometimes that is bound to happen. Oh, I know exactly which one I want to pick. I think I have to go with Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I finished the Carol Ball trilogy this month and I am really wanting to get back into this world and to get into Stephanie Garber's writing. So this is the perfect prompt to give me an excuse to start Once Upon a Broken Heart. I am so excited. I am very intrigued by Jax and I want to see him get the ending he deserves, I guess. So I am so excited to read this. And so that is going to be the last book on my April TBR. I feel very excited about this one and I think I should be able to get to most of these, but like I said, we'll see. I feel like I have a book for every mood. So even if I feel kind of slumpy and like I want to mood read, I feel like I could go for any of these. So I am feeling very excited and hopeful about this TBR, but here they all are. And I'm just going to run through the prompts with them. So for start a new series, I picked Once Upon a Broken Heart. For has a royal setting, I picked Majesty and Rivals book two and book three in the American Royals series. For a book that feels like spring, I picked You With A View by Jessica Joyce. Then I got Caleb picks and he picked out Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez for me. So excited for this one. For the shortest book, I picked The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. From a genre out of your comfort zone, I picked The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. For a book by two or more authors, I picked The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. And for a book with flowers on the cover, I picked Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. And that concludes my April TBR. I am feeling very excited about this and like like I mentioned, I'm really going to try to film my reading vlogs based on the books that I picked here. So if you want to see me read any of these books, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I will see you in another video soon.